All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here at the Mifflin County Sportsman Association, and I'm out here just testing equipment as I normally do prior to a competition. Uh, what really sucks is when something goes wrong, you got a couple days to resolve it, and I don't have a range that's sitting around the house, so evidently this is what I have to deal with. So today we're continuing testing with the Rock Island Armory. One of the things that I did was I took the bolt catch off of it because that's what was causing this little guy right here. Uh, secondly, um, the extended magazines. We were running into malfunctions, and I, and I just finally realized on, in the first competition that I shot this thing, uh, there were no malfunctions up until the time at the end of the match, right? Uh, secondly, on the next competition, I was running with the extended mags, okay, which ran fine at, during testing, but all of a sudden it went to crap. I'm out here today testing this thing out, and I had the standard 19 round mags uh, that you know you can buy directly from the guys over there at Rock Island Army or whatever they call that the company that they work with. And man, I tested it; went really well. Okay, so another thing is that I was running my 124 grain and 147 grain uh, reloads, and we're testing out the Army Craft muzzle brake. It's on this pistol right now. Um, Using the tuning springs, uh, I'm running the lightweight spring on this guy, and it's still stove piping a little bit, which means I probably need to go ahead and jack up the load ta a tad. We'll see. <laughs> um, and then I, uh, I'm running the uh, Trigger Tech Diamond Zero Creep in my competition rifle here, and one of the things that I realized, lighter is not always better because, uh, guys, I literally, I DQ'd and I had a, a negligent discharge, okay, and I'll admit to it, and I was coming up and I went, bam. The reason I did that, honestly, is because that trigger was so uh, light. There's no reason it needs to be that light. Uh, any kind of mistake while you're running or anything else, and uh, that's what happened. So I'm um, out here testing today. Right now, I think this thing's probably at about three and a half pounds, which is perfect for what I need to do. But I thought it'd be a good opportunity just to uh, share with you some shooting. My battery went dead. And this guy right here. So let's see. I can rock it like I used to. We're just shooting out the berm. I'll tell you what, looks like she's running just fine. That'll work. That'll work all day. So what I'm also going to do, <laughs> uh, I lost a memory card for my other camera. Otherwise, we'd have multiple cameras out here. I uh, was going to demonstrate the muzzle brake. So one of the other things in testing with the shotgun uh, in a competition scenario, typically one of the things they're going to do is they're going to have a start off with uh, somewhere like a, a, a uh, what do you call it, a uh, slug target. So you really, you want to start with your slug targets first, or you can rainbow or chain, chain the, the uh, things or multi-stack or stack them into the mag. So if you have a stage change, uh, or you're running from one stage to the other, you're, that's what you're going to do. Uh, this is an OEM mag. I have not tuned it or removed anything with it. I uh, only thing I did with this guy is I made sure there's oil on the on the gas block up here and uh, so let's see how this works out okay and we'll do that rock up there as a slug target and then of course we'll go ahead and we'll act like there's some targets out here okay perfect so since I took the uh, what do you call this thing the bolt lock off and this has still has the oem bolt lock hold open thing i'll take that off this thing is not going to hold back uh also and i'll show it to you right here there was the uh, bolt release every time i came back that finger caught it end up bleeding so we have another mag we'll run through this thing then hopefully we don't get any malfunctions and by the way i do pick up my holes here we go beep
So what we found out, they say that the springs will work in these things when you put the TACCOM extensions on them. Ladies and gentlemen, that's not the case. So I'm going to be running just the standard mags. I can care less. I'd rather have the thing be uh, reliable than uh, screwed up. Uh, all right. That's always fun. So now the pistol, like I said, 124 grain with the muzzle brake on it. Oh my God. It's just like butter. And you're going to experience a stove type, a stove pipe in it. Yeah, well, it did good. But it did lock open, okay, so there's some issues there. Like I said, we'll probably have to go out with a bigger, heavier load than what the 4.0 is. That's actually what the guidelines say, is that's, that is the maximum. All right, so what do we know? We gotta go up, we gotta increase the uh, powder load on these so you can get them working. Uh, I just big thanks out there to the guys at Armycraft to uh, send all this stuff out, the springs, the tuning kit. Uh, I'm running a gray guns trigger right now. I wonder if I'm going to talk to my friend Val, the uh, Armorcraft is a better trigger. Y'all put your comments down below. And the boys over there at uh, Optics Planet are shipping out a new uh, Delta Point Pro. So we're going to replace that. I'm going to have to take this thing to the range anyway in the indoor and see how that goes. All right. That's it. Remember, a lighter trigger is not always the better trigger. Uh, <laughs> a, a bigger mag is not always a better mag. You know, got the little mags over here, <laughs> but you got the 19 rounds that run reliable versus the four or five every time you got to pull the, the uh, charging handle. I know this is not exciting to most people, but it's exciting to me. I enjoy it. Uh, you know what's funny? Hold on one second. This is the X5 with the, uh, oh my gosh, what is it? The Live Free Armory upper on it. And the same round, no muzzle brake. Big difference in the muzzle flip uh, and the recoil, but it'll run that lighter load. All right, with that being said, I'm always in them like this. God bless America, God bless us, men, women, uniform, 24 7 for our freedoms, freedoms, not free. Man, this is a lot of fun. I really enjoy doing this stuff, and God almighty, I'm so happy this is running. And we just got to figure out that thing and a heavier trigger. Y'all be good. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hammer the dozo. I know that's it, man. And the infamous words of the real Cobra Burnout. Boom. Y'all be good. Ha. Wow, that was fun. <laughs>